Okay, today is July 9th. We're going to do this uh, live webinar coaching session, and as well, this is open to anybody who would like to jump in here. And I've got Sanisha who's uh, jumped on it and is going to find value in this. I trust, or at least I, I intend to show value. So, Sanisha, uh, if we were to talk over the next 20, 30, 45 minutes, what would you say is the okay. most important thing we talk about right now to help you get to the next level in your business? Uh, I believe it's uh, your database is your business. Database is your business. Anything specific about that? Is it understanding the chapters of the MREA? Or is it uh, wanting to know how to build it the fastest? What specific questions do you have? Um, well, I, I um, looked at the dashboard uh, spreadsheet that I have. Okay. On the um, USB drive, and for the first 20 days, there's a there's a row that says create your database, and um, I click on the YouTube video, and it goes to the YouTube channel for the agent, but I couldn't find the video on building a database, and I also searched the channel, so I did a Google search from Keller Williams uh, creating a database and I got this large PDF file. But I've been working on building my database using Excel, um, entering the person's name, address, and phone number. Okay. Um, so what, do we use uh, any specific software to build the database? Yep, it's a great question. So, uh, just for anybody, I'm recording this, that's why I do the generic intro here. For anybody who might be watching this after the fact, this is going to be based on database, and Tanisha has been with us for less than a week now. And everybody with Keller Williams, Tanisha, you get this uh, back office program called eEdge. And okay. the address is mykw.kw.com. Have you been there yet? Um, I, I don't think I've received my login information yet. Okay. For that uh, website. Susan, I apologize for that. We need to get with uh, a Marcus Center administrator to find out what has been held up. Did she uh, call you with some? Yeah, I know she was. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say with some any information that might be missing still. Um, I met with her on Wednesday, and um, I gave her my social. I picked um my sponsor. And I signed all the documents that I needed to sign. Um, she did let me know she was going to be off on the 5th, uh, July 5th. Okay. And um, I should have it. She told me I should have it yesterday, but I know she supports, you know, 100 plus agents. So let me find out if she's still here. Yeah, hold on real fast. Okay. Hey, Susan. Still there? She's not. Okay, so I assure you, you will have it tomorrow, because I'll make sure that's one of the first things I talk with her. So this is what you're going to see once you're in. This is your back office eEdge panel. Okay? okay. So let's go through this real fast. Um, the leads are going to come from your websites you get. So you're going to get two websites when you get to this. Uh, websites, they might look okay. like it's going to be, here's my website. So here's one of the two. And I created this, Best Homes for Sale in Orlando. And it gives just people a okay. real quick area to be able to look for homes. They can create searches, save searches. You can put videos in there. And it's a really neat way to have just a quick tutorial of how to look at the MLS. And the other website okay. you're going to get is going to be something like this, where it's fully customizable. I've surrounded mine around coaching, oh, blogging. So this is one of the other two websites you're going to get. In, in mine looks a little more customized, which you can do if you know how to do it, or they've got some pretty good templates. Uh, for instance, cool. Dream Home by Monica is one of her agents, and this is one of the just generic ones that they did, and it's a nice, clean template still. So right. that's like what you're going to get, and with that, as clients find you, whether it's a, a flyer, whether it's a Craigslist ad, whether it's your business card, or you're just talking to them, if they were to register, you're going to see that registration come here for new lead. So for the sake of what we see, let's do this. Let's say sell, and I want to get what my home is worth. So I'm going to put trial example, 
email is rick at what's your email address Tanisha? Um, Tanisha T-I-N-I-S-H-A period Milligan M-I-L-L-I-G-A-N at gmail.com Okay. Pardon my phone going off. No. And I'm... Nope, that doesn't write. At tenacia.milligan at gmail.com, right? Yeah, that's cool. That's right. Address is required. Home information. 123 Main Street. Okay. What's your phone number? 786-208- 8818. Now, as people are watching this on YouTube right now, you know that you can call. Um, you know that you can call Tanisha, and she'll give you a free listing because she's an agent who can help you out. So there you go. So this is if you are on my site and you just put that in there. Crisis has been sent. You'll hear back as soon as possible. So from there, you haven't noticed my phone just went off, and it took that long for me to get a buzz on my cell phone. And it says you have a new contact, Nisha Milligan, home address, and phone number. We'll also see in here, if we refresh this, we should have a new lead. And we'll see how quick this reacts for us. Here it comes, new lead. Come on, baby. Ha, -ha. not there. Okay. So the good news is it already went to my phone. The bad news is it might take a little bit yeah. longer right here. So what this does is this, this feeds people right into your database. There you are. So you are there, new contacts. So now you're in my database. You were created right here. And I know that I can call you. I can email you. And this is someone who's in your database. So the two ways you get in there would be either they manually enter it, in which I can see the source. Uh, the source was offline marketing. You were on my site. A source might be Craigslist, or a source might be that you imported it. So from here, in your email address, you have this. It automatically went out. This is what it says from you. Uh, welcome from Keller Williams. Oh, message text. wherever it's at, you've received a new CMA request. So the nice thing is this has automatic emails. In the next two or three days, it'll send some automatic emails to your client automatically. Now, let's say I couldn't get a hold of you and you were thinking about selling. With the way your database is your business is because you can take this and you can control them any way you want. So I'm going to say that I'm going to add you to a group. And this group I'm going to call you is going to be listing because you're inquired by the listing right so you can create your group right. whatever you want it to be and now you've been added there to listing I'm also gonna say I would like to put you in a campaign now if you think about when we talked about the different ways to grow your business and to to work your database there's three different types of campaigns Do you remember what they are um, hmm. uh, snail mail campaign email, um, I guess media. Okay. Right concept. Right. Those are the delivery right. methods. So I'll give you a cheat sheet here. Three different okay. types of campaigns. You have an 8x8. Eight eight. And this pretty much means that you're going to do eight emails or eight contacts in eight weeks. Okay. You have a 12 direct. And this is going to be 12 contacts once a month. And then you have a 33 touch, which is 33 touches or contact per year, which is about every 12 days. Those are your three types of campaigns. So the purpose of a campaign is to get my new contact, who's just registered on my site, who probably also registered on two or three other sites to think of me, to get that mind share. So I've put you in this group. 
Now I'm going to add you to a campaign. And the campaign might be a 33 touch, might be an 8x8 eight eight buyer, buyer, there it is, 8x8 eight eight seller. I can simply add you to this campaign, and now automatically you go on autopilot. And for the next eight weeks, you receive an email from me as a listing agent. So the nice thing about that is I really don't email you. It's an autopilot. However, you don't realize that. Once that 8x8 campaign ends, I add you to 33 touch. Okay? Pretty convenient. That's the power of the database. That's the power of this leverage because oftentimes, you know, when I speak with experienced agents, they say, where do you get your business from? 99% of the time, it's past clients and referrals. And very, very rarely is it past clients referrals that are getting more than 10%. So they might have 300 people in their database and they get 12 deals a year. Well, if you think of that, 12 divided by 300 is 4%. What would it be if you get 10%? Gary Keller wrote a book called The Millionaire Real Estate Agent and he says you can get 16.6% which is 2 out of 12. So you do that through these marketing. So when you say, when we say put your top 100 together, it's because we want you to go in your top 100, to go to your contacts, and we want you to import your 100 people. And you're going to save them. And here, right here, you'll see a custom import template. So here's a custom import template. This is everything we need to import it. So you already have Excel, so you're just going to make sure you have all of these. Now it's quite a bit because this is everything you can do. So we're going to take all this. Okay. You don't have to do it all. This is just available for you. Secondary could be if you have a spouse. You have genders, nicknames, okay. job titles. You have birthdays, anniversaries, referral informations. Home phone, cell phone, everything. If they have certain specs they're looking for. You can put it all in there. So this is what I want you to save because although you don't need it all, all of these have to be there right. so this message knows if you have it at all. So I want you to save right. that template. Pardon me there. Get out of my other stuff. Because now you can see here's what you need. A first name, a last name, an email address. That's it. Now you can also say you can do a physical address because you can do some snail mail or direct mail as we might call it. So that's what you right. need to get in there. Make sure you save it as a CSV file. And you simply choose file you import. When you do that I'm going to save you some time because let me show you something. If we go to all my contacts, how many do I have here? I'm not showing I have a lot. Yeah. Oh it's because I have open house in my comments history. Let's clear that. Oh. 589. Okay. Now if I just imported 589 and I didn't put them in a group, then what do I have to do? I have to go through and click on it, scroll down. Here he is in my sphere, top 100, but let's say I wanted to add him to something. That becomes a giant pain in the butt. So what I want you to do is I want you to save this CSV file right. that you do down here and save all of your neighbors and save it as neighbor import. Save all of your coworkers, coworker import. Save all of whatever it might be. That way when you import it, you're simply selecting a group and you can say this is my sphere, this is my top 100 is what you're creating now. And they automatically go in a group for you. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So that's going to be the power of, of why that's important this first 100 days. Because you've got 100 people, and that's your fingerprint in real estate. And just like every successful agent, a vast majority of their closed deals come from their sphere of influence, come from referrals, come from past clients. So if right off the bat we can maximize the communication, maximize the mind share, they're going to think of you. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this yeah. might be what, what that video is going to show on that, on that template because it's really talking about everything here and you can set them up as buyers, sellers, whatever they might be and just be as accurate as you can with that aspect. Once you go into the marketing, this is, this is a dashboard where you can go and you can find your campaigns. So remember you saw those options right here? 
Here's what I've got yeah. going. I might want to build a new campaign. Let's say I want to do some home and garden. No, let's see what else they have. Look at everything they have. Okay. So maybe why choose me, series one. Let's see what opens up. And I actually haven't looked in this in a while because I haven't been an agent in a while, and this is a new, uh, new things they've added to us. Well, here it is. Why choose me, series one. It tells us there is six emails, no direct mails, two activities. So this is going to be an eight by eight. Let's see what they are. Here's the first one. It says a direct mail, so we're going to need some sort of, oh, here it is, six direct mail. This is what they might get as a postcard. It automatically does this right here, where your name, because you put it in, will be in the bottom. This is what you look for in a realtor. And it's a way you can always get what you want. Now, sometimes it gives you a phone call, it gives you a subject. Because truly, when you look at all of these campaigns, if you do only mailers or only emails, do you think you're going to have a maximized results with that from your conversion rate? No. So what do you think you need to add to it? Um, probably a calling list. There you go, a phone call. This is a, this is a big glitch that a lot of agents don't do. Because it is so convenient to be an autopilot, they forget that they have a big job with that. It's interesting because we are recipients of these campaigns from a lot of Fortune 500 companies, big box companies, whether it's Pizza Hut, Sports Authority, whatever it might be, they're constantly giving us direct mails and emails, right? Right. How often are people calling you? And if they did, would that conversion rate go through the roof? If tonight at about 6.30 you get a phone call from Pizza Hut and said, hey, I've been sending you flyers, are you aware of the campaign we've got going right now? What are you doing for dinner? Would you like to put an order? They're going to get more pizza orders than if they just left it out to blank. Because some people go, hmm, yeah, that sounds good. I'll put in an order. Interesting concept. So as you're doing this, there are some activities that go on. So that's what this whole dashboard tells you. So let's go to the dashboard. Every day you log on, first job is to go to this dashboard. When you do that, I know I've got a new contact. I need to call you. As soon as I've called you, I know what you are. You are an active listing. Now you're gone out of that. New messages. Okay. Here you go. So here's some people who have emailed me. Charlie Brown, this is another example I did. So people who have emailed me, and I can go email them back. Again, this is a little bit old because I'm not an agent, so I don't actively go in here. If I had one of those activity calls that was up, it would be under reminder. So if I put you on an 8x8 and in three weeks I had to call you, then on okay. July 20 or July 30th, this will pop up and it's going to say, call Tanisha. Step three, 8x8. Eight eight. Say this. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's like the follow-up alert on Outlook. Yep, exactly with that. The nice thing is when you start the campaign, it's automatic for you. Now, if there is Outlook, because you and I talked and I wanted to add a reminder, and I put it under you, it pulls you up. It's going to say, write a thank you card for being on coaching call. And I'm going to say, I want this done. Uh, to do on next week at 5.15. Save it. When I log on my dashboard next week and it's on the 16th, it's going to say, hey, at 5.15, don't forget. Does that make sense? So it's really yeah. a great way for you to take that 100 and maximize it because, like I said, a lot of people are getting 3 4 and 5%. And by having these tools and systems in place from the beginning, it maximizes right. the conversion rate. Here's something else that's cool. Look at this for more activity site. I know you're online right now. You are still logged in. Oh, wow. I know that <laughs> Shannon Chapman has been online this morning at 9 a.m. Here's some people in my database who are using my site and searching. 
So I can call Shannon and say, Shannon, you're looking at some investments again. How can I help you? She'll say, how do you know that? I'll say, because I'm spying on you. Oh, you don't want to scare her. <laughs> Shannon, because it's my job to take care of my clients. So in doing that, it alerts me when you've been taking a look. So let's see what kind of alert you've created. 32826, anywhere from 25 to 150,000, single family. You looked at this property. So Shannon, what would you think of that property over on 13924 Ginger? Do you want to go take a look at it? Hmm, it's funny you should know that. It alerts me. Yes, it is funny. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty yes. cool. So yes. this, this program is grossly underutilized, and you can imagine the power if it was truly maximized. Now, some of the features you're seeing is an upgraded feature called uh, the Pro version. The Pro version is $99 extra a month. I believe this is part of the Pro version. However, this is this is super duper. A lot of what you've seen up until that point is not pro. You can do everything there up until then. So if you do some things, often often people ask me, should I go pro? And I'm going to say, have you maximized the regular version? Because if you haven't done that yet, then perhaps you can keep that money in your pocket because you haven't even started what you could do. Okay? Okay. So I'm throwing a lot at you. I'm going to stay on this board. Remember how to get to this channel right here? If you're home. Home. My.kw. No, my.kw. My.kw.kw.com. Right. And you go to view contacts, and that's how I get to my dashboard. That's your happy place, because that's your database. It tells you new contacts, everything else out there. Now, here is your website. This is how I can change my website. My main text, what it says in the seller's text, see right here? That looks a lot like this. Oops. Like, create a free account. No, I don't want to create a free account. There you go. Looks a lot like this. See that? So right. this chapter section is what I'm seeing. By the way, this comes automatically. Hello welcome to This Month in Real Estate. I'm Jay Papazan. <laughs> Top story, the most... Does it for you. Automatically changes. But there it is. So it's pretty cool. So if I want to change this, I can change it. So that's one of your pages. And then your other page that you get is under Technology Agent Website. I'm throwing a lot at you, but the nice thing is this is being recorded, so you can watch it over and over again. Here's your other website. Set up my agent website. Right. And this is the one that has the template of this. So those are your two spots where you can get it. Cool. So you edit your information. You can design your website. You can choose your template, and here's your different templates you can choose. I paid a company to do a custom header. It's called Brandco, brandco.com. So if you wanted to get okay. a custom header done, and they also, uh, I think it was about $600. Don't quote me on that. But I'll show you what they did. It's pretty neat. They also included this email stationery. Right. So I become branded all the way together. So that's okay. one of my emails connected to my Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. And if they wanted to click my website, they can go and look where it goes. It's right here. So if you wanted to have that in your emails, it's it's I found it to be a pretty good investment. So and they also they gave me um I'll exit off this. No. It comes with a thank you. So there's a little thank you shout out and again for agents, buyers, sellers, investors, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Because as an agent, you're going to brand yourself. When you brand right. yourself and it's convenient for people to go to you, they can still go to you. Now, regardless of which website, they can go to this website and they can still search for homes just like they can on the other one and it'll still go to you. In the next couple of months, you're also going to have a mobile app that your friends and sphere of influence database can download. And then they'll have an app they can use to search for real estate and that will also go to your database. 
and all you've got to do is, is manage that database when it buzzes and you've got a new contact, put them on a group, give them a phone call, put them on a campaign, go to those dashboard reminders and follow those. What do you think? Powerful tool. Powerful tool. Okay. So <laughs> you had a question regarding creating your database. Have I answered that question? Right. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Your job every day is to feed that database. Your job is to feed it by adding more people. You can add people. Let's see if we can go over and play with it. Remember, it's been a while. However, post on Craigslist. This is a pro feature. You can do it manually or you can do it through this. What if I don't have a pro? Please hold. If you post on Craigslist, you'll see where people have come in via Craigslist. If you import it, it's imported. Probably the quickest way, and this and I'm, I'm speaking through my own experience, to add people to your database outside of who you already know on a personal basis through your friends and family, it's going to be open houses. Right. When you can do open houses okay. and you market them properly, you can have, really, it's up to you. I, I had an average of 10 to 15 people walk in, give me their name, number, email address, mailing address, and what they're looking for in their time frame. And then I left. And every Monday I had 10 to 15 people to put in my database, to write a handwritten thank you note. It's funny who we saw down here, Shannon Chapman. Right. Oh, let me see this. I'm going to go back to her. Because I met her at a, at a come on, computer. I met her at an open house probably two and a half years ago. Wow. I remember the open house I was doing it at, actually, because she told me she was an investor and she just wanted to get into it. And on Monday, for my handwritten note, I went downstairs to Susan. I bought the blue book, The Millionaire Real Estate Investor, and I put it in a FedEx, and I sent it to her with my business card with a handwritten thing on the inside page. I said, this would be a great tool for you to invest, and it did. And within the next three months, we put in four offers and got three investment properties. And now wow. she's still using my site, and I haven't talked to her since I've been a team leader for two years. And she's still going here probably because she's on my 33 Touch. That's good stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Every day, feed that database. That's a machine. All right, this page is not one to be responsive, so I'm going to start over. What else can I answer for you? We're about halfway through. If you want to take the whole uh, hour, then you've got permission to. Um, hmm. I guess I have more questions as I um, play around in um, the MyKW website. Yeah. And, um, so here, here's what I want you to do because I don't want to I don't want to make this a uh, a uh, tedious because a lot of times in coaching when I when I coach my agents we do about a thirty minutes so this has been a perfect coaching session. Here's what else I want you to do when you have access tomorrow. I want you to really explore all of these tabs because the power of what mykw.kw gives us is just the beginning. So let me show you some examples so you kind of have a great way to say as a new agent what your tutorial is. This profile completeness. You want to get it to 100% by completing your profile. So just make sure all of these are filled in. What this is doing is not only creating more pages and links, which puts you higher in Google search, we also have white pages, and Orlando is a very prominent place for people to move or have referrals to. So if one of the other 80,000 Keller Williams agents decides that they want to send a referral to Orlando, they're going to likely use right. these white pages, and the higher your percentage is, the more higher on the page you're going to be. Hmm. So you might, or you have a fax number, mobile number, home number, um, you may not have a, I think they have a spot for a blog. You may not have a blog. Put in something. Fill in right. all of these blanks. So cool. blog URL, I put my Facebook. I didn't have it. I wanted to put something in there. If you don't have it and it's blank, then it's going to show right. as incomplete. Okay? So just go through and just fill all of these in. That's going to really help you out. So that's going to be a good to-do list for you. I want you to also... Okay. Take a look on the education tabs. 
because especially for you being in transition and being full time, this is really what's going to be your best friend in real estate. Education okay. tab, you have Keller Williams University. If we look at all the products, we browse A to C. This is everything that Keller Williams International has taken right. for us. Okay, so you can see it's it's beyond, it's beyond, it's beyond, it's beyond, it's beyond. That blue book I was telling you about, millionaire real estate investor, the agent, the one thing. Your business is your database. Interesting. That's what we just talked about. Yeah. You and I had mentioned Ignite of how that's required right. for every new agent. So up here you have Ignite. So you right. can click on here. You can download the sessions. Here's your sessions you can download, and here they are. And when you download it of your database student, we simply open this up. Ignite session two, the manual. We open it up, and here is your Ignite pages, one through 44. And you get to read through the database of everything that they would be in Ignite. So you become a self-instructed virtual learner. So here it is. This is your E-Edge. Cool. So you're going to see on that, on that key that you get that there's going to be certain sessions. There's going to be Ignite. There's also going to be uh, other programs called 3612.3, Buyer Mastery, Seller Mastery. Those are all found right here. Overview, what is it doing, who's it for, all agents, the toolkit, all toolkit fires, let's say open house tools because that's what you're going to do, you're going to do an open house. Here's a countdown checklist, prepare for your open house, visitor registration okay. form, you don't have to reinvent the wheel, here it's done. That's what your people like go and, and do for you because what's really important is that this might take the normal person an hour and a half to do. Well, I'd rather you spend an hour and a half building your database by talking to more people. Does that make right. sense? So take yeah. a look at Keller Williams University, all products, browse A to Z, and really just go through. You say, okay, accounting for business centers. Who's this for? MCAs and learn more about business centers. Nope, not me. Okay, back out. All products. What else do I have? Um, you know what? Let's just go to the agent section. Let's go through skills on demand. Let's see what comes here. And honestly, this is stuff that I haven't really gone through. There you go. Different videos. So literally hours upon hours upon hours that you can do to learn about the, the different aspects that we have here. This book is your training manual, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. You have a copy of it, right? Yes. Okay. Hard copy. <laughs> so as you read that, here's your toolkit. So with QuickBooks, you have a chart of accounts and that if you can do the MREA chart of accounts and download that into an Excel spreadsheet and now you can sync them into your QuickBooks, looky there, it's all done for you. That way you're running your business. So everything that's talked about in the MREA book is here as well. Lead generation exercise. There you go. What did we just talk about? 8 by 8 33 touch, 12 direct. Right. It's how you say you've got a goal of 36 in your first year. You've got 200 people in your database. You put them on here. You divide 200 by 6. You can get 33 people from that. Well, you're still need three more. If you can get 50 to 1 out of this and you need three more closings, just put 150 people here to direct mail or two. It might be your neighbors. So everything becomes a formula, and if you net 320 sales a year, you've, you've netted a million dollars. So oh. that, that's, that's this in a nutshell, and you can really, I just lost it again. Um, you can really get lost in here, and I encourage you to get lost, and that's a lot of what that, that 20, 45, 90 day tab shows you is how to get lost in here. Uh, marketing, market my business. Okay, so that's going to be you. Except my internet is deciding to shut down after 5.30. With the Mark My Business, you're going to see a 
listing presentation that you can go ahead and download. So there you go. Listing presentation. You've got one coming up. You're, you're freaking out because you're not sure exactly what to do, how to do it. And now you can say, you know what, here's my listing presentation. I'm just going to download it. Fully customizable. You can download it. Here's your flyers. And you can put all of your name to it. You want to write a letter to a for sale by owner? Let's open up this letter. There you go. Cool. For sale by owner. Here it is. Dear so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. Here's what I'd like to do. For sale by owner. Sincerely you. There it is. All the different options. You can choose which one's best for you. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Kathy, hello. Can you hear me? Welcome. How long have you been there? You came in the back door. You've been listening for a while? She went away. Um, uh -oh. I don't want to allow that. So get lost in here. Um, everything you want to do, mark my business. When you get some listings and you want to do some market for your listings, it's there. Right. Uh, for you, let's take a look. I've moved to KW. You have moved to KW. So this is going to be for your sphere of influence, for your database. This way you can send to them as soon as it opens up. And you can do a big press release. That's the first thing they can receive is how you now with Keller Williams. Here we go. Email or letter, you can choose. You want an email? Here's your email. Wanted to be the first to know I've made the move to real estate leader, Keller Williams Realty. Look forward to sharing some great news and tools. There's your email. Awesome. Pretty cool? Yep. Kathy, this has been fun for us because we went through and just really dove into some important things uh, doing eEdge. Uh, and this is recorded, so I want you to go back and listen to it and record it if you feel like you've not maximized every little tab here. Because mm -hmm. I don't think anybody in the world has. I haven't, and I know this thing pretty well. Can, can you hear me now? I hear you. I hear you. Ah. I, could, I couldn't get the um, sound to come on for some okay. reason. I, I got on late, but yeah, there's a whole bunch on here that you can get into. You can get lost in it, actually. You can. I want you to get lost. I want you to get lost. Agent Mountain is really cool. If you go to Agent Mountain, this is your on-demand training, KW Connect. So you had a question about your database. That's what started this entire conversation, right? So right. you can strictly go to KW Connect. Type in whatever you're thinking about. Build your database with Gary Keller. List as Gary Keller explains how to build your database contact management. Here we go. Sure, Gary. I'll sit and listen to you for 28 minutes. You know what you're doing. And you can just listen to Gary speak. So, get lost. Get lost in here. Get lost in here for agents. Here you go. All of that Excel spreadsheet thing we gave you, it's all just taking important things from here. Right. So, so you just finished your lead generation course? Yes. And did you enjoy that? Yes, I did. Uh-oh, where'd he go? I do have a question for you. Okay. <laughs> I a lot of times He's in there. Uh -oh. Yeah, there's some really neat information in there. There really is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so... Pretty impressive. What's that? I said it's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's it's scary impressive. And if you know of any other agents who aren't with Keller Williams, who would really yeah, benefit working from on this, one. you're working Hello? with one. Send them this. Yeah, I'm working on one. My coworker. Okay, so perfect. So you can send her this yeah. guest pass, and here you go. Access the guest pass, and now you can send this link to anybody, and they can look at all of these things as a little of a bit of a Ooh. glimpse. And you can share just an example of what we have with the guest pass. So this is a, this is a great example. That one. Yeah, it's how to build your downline. It's our 401k because as realtors we don't get a 401k. So this is our our passive income for ourselves when we retire and, and leave real estate. Right. Okay. Good yes, session. Good day. You. Yes. Thank you. Productive. Very well, Very Kathy. Anything that's uh, burning your your fingertips or. You want to just bring it tomorrow um, morning session? Yeah, I'll just bring it tomorrow. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
<laughs> so, uh, who do you guys know right now who I can give a call to who would be who needed to hear this? Who do you care about out there who's doing real estate or thinking about it? Who could make more money for their family by having this? Is there anybody? Um, my coworker, um, uh, Shai Deng, he's thinking about um, joining uh, Keller Williams. I told him he should uh, attend the 4 p.m. Uh, KW Careers event yeah. that you're Good. having this Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on him. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, and I showed him. The oh, go ahead. I was say sometimes it's hard. I don't want you to feel like you have to work or recruit if it's more comfortable. Let me do that because I can, oh, okay. I, can, I can help people with questions they might have that you may not know the answer to. So if okay. you ever feel like he's asking you questions and you can't uh, get through to him like you th would like, just say, you know what, I'm right. probably not the best person to answer this. Is it okay if I have right. my speaker to Rick give you a call? Okay. Shoot yeah, it over I to me, I give him a call, and then, and then we see what happens from there. Yeah, we share a cube, a cubicle together. <laughs> so you see him every day. There you go. So now yeah, you can show him this tomorrow once you have, once we give you the access. Right. All um, right. I'll, uh, I'll get in touch with uh, Susan and just, you know, ask her what's the status. I'm going to shoot her an email before I leave today. That way she knows to make okay. it a priority for you. Okay? Okay. Thanks a lot, Rick. Thank I you. Really Thanks for jumping it. on. Thanks for holding your end of the bargain. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, ladies. Good, Good night. night. Good night, Kathy.